Hello. I defeated the last of the prime evils, but stuff still happened. So what's up? You're arrested, Harry. Cops in England were responding to a call saying that there was some dude walking around carrying a big knife at a hotel. A danger to everyone around him, pretty dang spooky. And so some cops showed up with guns to find out it wasn't a knife. It was a replica Harry Potter wand. And the person wielding it was just a dweeb. Not a knife boy, just a nerd. Anyway, the cops didn't kill anyone and that's pretty good. Uh, also, JK Rowling is a transphobic asshole. The ocean is not, is not a car. Stop putting oil in it. It doesn't need it. The prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago has announced that there is a national emergency as an unknown vessel has overturned off the coast and started spilling oil into the region. Oil has already been washing up on the beaches of Trinidad and it's not a particularly under control situation. The prime minister has said they truly just don't know what this vessel is, where it came from, who owns it. Unclear, but it's pooping out a lot of oil and divers have not been able to contain the spill. So it's a matter of trying to just sort of control Z the oil out of the ocean now. And undoing something like that is a tall task, even for someone as talented as Clippy. But like, hey, what if we just had less oil in the ocean? That'd be cool. I would like that. I would personally be a fan of not having oil spills in the ocean, like every year, just constantly. I'm beginning to believe that a lot of the oil spills are just put on as PR stunts by the Dawn marketing team. The Democrat controlled Senate in the US has passed a nearly $100 billion funding bill for wartime aid. This money will be going to Israel and Ukraine primarily, with a little bit set aside for humanitarian efforts for Gaza. Now, to be clear, we're sending more billions to Israel to fuck up Gaza, but you know? Anyway, to be clear, this isn't happening yet. They have passed it, but it has not been approved by the House. The House is controlled by Republicans, and they've already said they want to spend more money because they want to include stuff for the border. You know, those highly related things, wartime aid and southern border security for the U.S. So yeah, this is probably going to result in some more back and forth between the House and the Senate, and ultimately is probably going to include some wins for Republicans and border funding stuff. Because every other presidency, according to Republicans, the border just suddenly and desperately needs money. At this point, it might be cheaper to just build that wall out of the money we send to the border. The happiest place on earth is gonna unionize. Neat. Well, maybe, they want to. Employees at Disneyland in California, referred to as cast members, not unlike the sandwich artists of the Subway clan, are getting together to unionize. About 1,700 employees have already picked up union cards and they're looking to follow in the footsteps of their cousins over at the florida location disney world yeah disney world who are already unionized they're seeking representation from the actors equity association which is that took me a lot of that's, that's a hard thing to say actors equity association good lord now disney is famously anti-union but hopefully that won't be as much of a big deal since there's already some precedent here. I don't know why I'm giving them any benefit of the doubt. It'll be just that much more of a bad look if they try to union bust, cause like they already have a union at the Florida location, which is the bigger location, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, solidarity always, and hopefully they get what's theirs. Cause it's pretty difficult to make an argument that Disney can't afford to pay their employees properly. A somber note, in Kansas City, there was a shooting at the end of a parade celebrating their victory in the Super Bowl. 22 people were shot, including eight children from a person who was spraying bullets into the crowd. However, from all of this, I just wanna read a quote from the report. Quote, the shooting outside Union Station happened despite more than 800 police officers who were in the building and around the area, including on top of nearby buildings, said the mayor, who attended with his wife and mother and had to run for cover when the gunfire broke out. According to the town's own mayor, a heavy police presence, including those stationed on vantage points, did not prevent a mass shooting event. That's all I'm gonna say about that. On this day in 2013, two meteors made headlines. Space people, don't get mad at me. I know they're not, I know they're not both meteors. Just don't, let me just say meteor. The space rocks. Space, space boulders. So on that day, we were expecting one of these space rocks to just kind of flirt with the earth, just sort of skirt by. Its name was 367943 Duende. Beautiful name. It was all over the news. We were getting excited about the passage of this space rock. But before that could happen, another one crashed into Russia. We had no idea it was coming, and suddenly a 60-foot diameter space rock just entered the atmosphere over Russia and then exploded 
blowing out the windows in the nearby area and causing a massive fireball that ultimately injured 1,500 people. Apparently, we didn't know it was coming because it was like obscured by the sun. So yeah, we were looking to the sky and expecting one of those sky rocks to kind of pass by, but another one was like, hey, me first. Lightning round. Despite the loud cries of capital G gamers, a recent report has found that about 2% of video games actually have any form of queer representation. According to a WAPO investigation, a Tesla employee who was involved in a fiery crash that ultimately took their life was using full self-driving mode at the time, drawing questions about why. Microsoft has announced that they're going to bring some of their first-party games to third-party consoles, including Sea of Thieves, so that's gonna be on PS5 and Switch. I cannot believe that I'm thanking Microsoft for bringing some good new games to the PS5. In a sign of the times, a water park in Sweden has caught fire. The Biden campaign has joined TikTok after not so long ago, trying to ban TikTok nationwide. A man in England has become the first in the country to be charged with cyber flashing because he was sending unsolicited dick pics to people, including an underage girl. Don't do that. And finally for today, another door has fallen off another plane. Thankfully this time it was like a two seater, like a small little craft and not an airliner. But quick question, why are so many doors falling off of planes suddenly? Who got cursed? Wait, I cursed people recently. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and a hot bowl of oatmeal. Stick to your ribs. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Monday. Take care and be well.